Most people will never get the chance to drive an Aston Martin. I'll probably never get to play with Radiohead, but that doesn't mean I hang up my bass. Like the Boy Scouts say, always be prepared. With that in mind, here are the essential things you need to know if you ever get a chance to buy an Aston Martin V8 Vantage. It's sexy as hell, but you already knew that. The V8 Vantage is Aston's entry-level model, and though pricing starts around $138,000, remember, it is a hand-built supermodel. Good looks cost money. Volante means convertible in Aston speak. Aston Martin makes a V8 and a V12 Vantage. Right now, the US only gets the V8, but it's one hell of a V8, so we're not complaining. The Aston Martin Vantage is hand-built and absolutely genuine inside and out. If it looks like metal, it is metal, not chromed plastic or anything else so undignified. Leather, metal and suede, that's the interior. It smells and looks like quality. All that quality is accompanied by some unusual details. The handbrake sits to the driver's left. The key fob features a clearly delicate crystal top and goes in the middle of the dash. Seat controls are located by the driver's right thigh. The door handles are cool enough that the Nissan GTR ripped them off. The doors angle up as they open, so you'll never accidentally hit the curb. You can't reach the CD changer without putting the top down, but you'll probably use an iPod anyway, so no matter. The Volante's trunk isn't huge, but it's big enough for a couple of weekend bags, and there's some extra cargo nooks in the cabin. The coupe is essentially a hatchback, which in our book makes it practical transportation. Buy the manual transmission. I don't have the manual and have never driven the manual, but do yourself a favor and buy the manual. The optional sport shift automated manual transmission saves you from having to use your left leg, but it takes big long pauses between shifts, similar to the R-Tronic automatic in the Audi R8. Not good. Unlike the R8, a well-timed lift of the throttle while shifting in manual mode helps smooth things out. The cabin stays impressively quiet with the Volante's top raised, but there's a substantial blind spot over your right shoulder. Good luck with that. Airflow around the cabin is nicely controlled with the top down. It's really quite calm, so there's no excuse to drive with the top up. Plus, you'll be able to hear more of that excellent V8 engine noise. At $7,200, the optional Bang & Olufsen audio system isn't cheap, but it's money well spent on those rare occasions when you'd rather listen to music than the V8. The view from the driver's seat is brilliant. The Volante's thin windshield surround sits low and far forward, creating a feeling of supreme openness and connection with the outside. In speaking with the reps from Aston Martin, they said that every car they make must have three things, power, beauty, and soul. After a brief weekend spent with the V8 Vantage, I can tell you it's got power. It's definitely beautiful. There are some weird bits, but they're growing on me, and it feels different from any other car I've driven. It's not easy to define soul, but I think the Vantage has it. So, if you want a car with power, beauty, and soul, and you're one of the privileged few who can afford it, the Aston Martin V8 Vantage may be the car you've always longed for. But get the manual.